Hi guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark, and here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what's sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do all that good stuff, so if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a haul, a 2022 haul, if you will, everything I've bought so far this year, um, from a couple of Goodwills, I believe, a local honey hole thrift store, and Plato's Closet. And this is gonna be, I think, probably in no particular order because I've already photographed most of this stuff and have them listed. Um, hopefully by the time this video is up, they are all listed, but they might not be. We'll see, I'm really bad with having to clean things. But I will start with a couple of things that have already sold. One of them is this Aloe Yoga contour jacket that I picked up from a Goodwill recently. I picked it up for $9.99 and it ended up selling for 50 and then after fees I made $40. I was really happy, that was a really quick flip. Aloe Yoga doesn't always do that well for me but I was really excited about that. It didn't have a size and I couldn't find one exactly like this in this color so maybe it made it more sought after but I was really happy about that. And then the other thing that has sold are actually these hiking boots. I was considering keeping them because they are really cute, but I was excited because I've never picked up this brand before. It's Hoka, it's Hoka 1-1, and I don't know if that's technically a lower line of Hoka, but I did, you know, list it as Hoka 1-1 um, hiking boots, but these are in really great condition. They are technically my size. The bottoms are really clean, but I think I'm gonna show there is some dirt right there. I didn't even clean them. I just listed them as is because I really hate cleaning things, but, they are in overall really great condition. These ended up, I picked these up for $14.99 and they actually sold really quickly for $80, which I was kind of surprised about because comps were kind of all over the place. I was getting a lot of low ball offers. Um, I wasn't really holding out to see if someone would buy them for full price, but someone did. They sold for 80 and then after fees, I'll make 62.50. I might've had a shipping discount on them, but yeah, cute. And I might as well keep with the theme of shoes. I saw these really cute Seychelles, I think is how you pronounce that. Um, slip on like mule pointed loafers, kind of. I don't know, loafers probably not the right word. Kind of like a rounded pointed toe and a light colored snake print. Um, Seychelles, 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 however you pronounce it. They can be really expensive. They're sometimes sold um, on Free People's website and they're sometimes sold at Anthropology. These I don't think fit under that category, but they're an eight and a half and they are leather. And yeah, I thought they were really cute. These might not sell until fall. I don't have a lot of interest on them right now, but I thought I got a really good deal on these and they were $6.99 at my Goodwill, which is actually really cheap as far as shoes and other items go there. I also found these really adorable platform lug sole like loafers. <laughs> they're a vegan leather, so they're not real. And the brand is Monkey. That's actually an I at the end, M-O-N-K-I, vegan. They're a size 39. And whenever I see like a cheaper like shoe with a European size, I always think that they're probably sold on ASOS, especially trendy ones because ASOS sells European brands, but like kind of like cheaper European brands, um, kind of like fast fashion. And yep, these were sold on ASOS. They're actually sold out, which was good for me because you can't really buy them anymore. But again, kind of like a alligator print, snake print. <laughs> um, faux leather platform loafer. And these are super trendy right now. I paid $14.99 for these, which was pretty high, and I think I have them listed for $60. So hopefully I'll make a good profit on these. But again, I was expecting kind of like a quick turnaround, and they have gotten a lot of interest on the multiple platforms I've listed them on. These I haven't gotten around to listing yet. I still need to clean them up quite a bit. These came from my local Honey Hole thrift store, and I picked them up. I've sold this brand before, Alukai. Alukai their logo. They only wanted $6 for these, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick them up. I saw some comps around 50, so I thought that that would be a good turnaround for me. Um, they are pretty dirty. 
So again, I have to clean them up, but I have sold this brand before and it's done well. I think they sold this at Nordstrom sometimes. Um, but yeah, just a basic men's shoe, nothing too crazy or special. They're a size men's 12. Then I found these super cute, again, point toe, kind of burgundy color, Madewell leather loafers. I do still really enjoy selling Madewell's leather items, like their shoes and their purses. Actually, in my sales report on Poshmark, like my all-time best-selling brand that I've made the most money on since I started reselling to now is actually Madewell, and I thought that that was really surprising because I've had such a hard time selling it lately, but I have sold it quite a few times in the past, so that's probably why. They're seven and a half, and they do have wear on the bottom, but the tops are really clean, really great. I've been picking up shoes a lot more recently just because they're just so easy to look through. You don't have to go through all the racks. And these were $9.99, um, pretty much $10. I thought that was a good price for my Goodwill, especially for Madewell loafers. I have these listed kind of high, but again, they have been getting a lot of interest and hopefully they'll sell quickly. I really like that kind of like indent there. All right, and I think this is the last pair of shoes for this haul. Um, this I forgot to look up until I was checking out, but they're a Lewitt, and that did sound really familiar to me. Made in Italy. They do have some creasing here and a little bit of toe impression. This one has more wear sort to the front. I could clean that up with some leather polish, but right now I just have them listed as is. But they're really cute, classic ruched square toe sandal. I really liked that style. Um, they have leather bottoms and they're size 37 and a half. So like seven, seven and a half size. Yeah, I think they're really cute. I don't think I have a lot of attention on them right now, but I am hoping sort of for the summer that these do sell. Cause again, really classic for a wedding or something. These would be really cute. And these are pretty expensive, brand new, I believe. And they only wanted $6.99 for these as well, so I thought that those were a good pickup because again, that's on the cheaper end of things at my Goodwill. All right, I also hit up a Value Village um, and I found a couple of nice pieces. I actually found a new tag Savage X Fenty um, like bra set, but I think I might be keeping it, I'm not sure. Um, but I thought that was a good find. They wanted like $12 for it. Wouldn't resell for too, too much, but I do think that was a good find, especially new tags. And then I found this super cute little um, base layer and the logo is down there in the corner. I love finding this brand. I don't find it very often, um, but it is smart wool. It's a size extra small and it was new with tags and I was shocked. Uh, they wanted $14.99 for this and I did pay. <laughs> because it's not every day that I find this brand and I've never found it new with tags. It is a smaller size, um, but I do really well with base layers and all their stuff is wool. This and Icebreaker, those brands are like always made of wool, I believe, and they do really well for me. Resell wise, I think I have this listed at 70 and hopefully it'll sell for that. Um, but yeah, nice teal color. And this brand can get pretty expensive as well. I think originally it was over $100. Then I found this kind of like a sweater. It's really, really soft. It's white and it's kind of hard to see, but it has the Peloton logo on the front, and like a very light teal color. It's a size large and this is also new with tags. And this is the brand Beyond Yoga, which can get really expensive. I know I have the wool marker on it size large it's really lightweight and kind of sheer but super cute um, I love picking up Peloton collab items they usually do pretty well for me this hasn't been getting a ton of attention but I do really like this piece it's very soft this was originally I believe $12.99 they wanted for it but it was half off when I picked it up so I only got it for $6.49 so if I do have to end up selling it for cheaper than I have it listed at, it won't be a big deal because I didn't spend that much on it. Then I found this mod cloth sweater. It's not every day that I find mod cloth as well. I don't really find it that often. I do better with it in the bigger sizes, but I thought that this was kind of a fun print. It, I guess it's flowers and like stems. Originally when I saw it, I thought it was like frog 
feet and like lily pads, but I guess I was wrong. Um, but yeah, really soft, really nice sweater. Mod cloth is kind of known for its like bold colors and designs. Um, and it's a size medium and I've been getting a lot of attention on this as well. I picked this up for $9.99. Um, I only have it listed at like 45, I believe. So I'm not gonna make a huge profit on this piece, but it is bringing a lot of traffic into my closet and I do really love this brand. And again, I really don't see it that often. Now this is another brand that I actually haven't found before. It is Adidas, but it's an Adidas collab. This I got at Plato's Closet. Cute little butterflies everywhere. Um, this is an Adidas Farm Rio, which is the brand that has been on my bucket list collab. And it's a size small, has the logo on the sides. I was just excited again, cause it was the collab. Some other pieces can do really, really well. This kind of seems a little bit saturated on Poshmark, but I did pay 15 for this at Plato's Closet because I was just so excited. Again, this is more of like a summery spring piece. Now this is a brand I really pass on usually, but I know this is, I, be <laughs> I believe I should say that this is their newer tag, the cabbie tag. It's a size extra small, which is on the small side, obviously. Um, and I do pass on it a lot, but they had a few newer tag stylish pieces, but they were all in a size extra small at the Goodwill I went to. So I did pick up this one. Uh, it's not wool, but it kind of feels like it. It's a very soft, kind of like asymmetrical moto jacket blazer. And I thought it was really cute, really nice. Kind of has like a ventilated back, a little bit of a peplum, real classic design. And they wanted 10 for this. And I thought that that was a good price. If you can get a cabbie piece that's desirable, I feel like you can get a good amount of money for it. I have this listed around 65, I believe. So hopefully it sells. <laughs> Again, this is, it seems kind of out of season, it seems more like a fall piece, but it is cute. And I think it'd be cute for like parties, going out like date night or to a bar. So if somebody's looking for sort of like a versatile jacket, then I think that they would really like this one. Then I'm gonna show you a couple of purses that I got this. Um, they're both the same brand. Um, and it's a brand I've picked up once before, but actually hasn't even sold yet. It's Anna Baglish. And both of these I spent $10.99 on at my local Honey Hole, which is kind of expensive for them. Um, I don't know if they looked it up or they just know what the brand is, but this is a leather purse. It has like wear to it, but that's kind of like intentional. Um, it's part of the look. I think some of it is a little bit more than intentional because the color is rubbing off in a couple places, but it is that look to sort of be more worn in. It has the shoulder strap, you can do it crossbody. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. This brand I believe is made in Oregon and it is often sold on Sundance's website. So people do know of it. Again, this is the second time I found this brand. Um, the first time I got it at Plato's Closet for about the same price, um, but it hasn't sold yet. But this one is a little bit cuter, kind of reminds me of Patricia Nash in a way, cause she does the worn in leather bag look as well. Um, and then I got this purse again for 10.99. It's the same brand and a baglish. And I did see that this bag was on Sundance's website in a different color. Um, but yeah, this one's suede. This one is a lot cleaner, less wear. Then it has these two big, huge pockets on the side and they're studded. And then the thick shoulder bag. This one's not really crossbody. It's just like a shoulder bag. And I believe the inside of this one is cleaner. I do have to clean the insides of these and that's, if they're not listed yet, that's why. Um, this was also 10.99. I'm hoping I can list these between 70 and 80 and hopefully they'll sell only because I paid so much for them. So I'm listing them so high, um, but ideally they'll sell between like 50 and $60, but we'll see. Then I was in the jeans section as I often go to. I love to sell denim. Um, this was at a Goodwill. I found these, they're the Madewell high, or wide leg crop. They were in the smallest sizes, but they're actually size 28. Um, high rise, and I believe these were from 2020. Yep, spring 20. So they are newer. Um, some distressing there. And then on the bottom, they're a crop wide leg. So more again of like a spring summer pant. I don't know how popular cropped pants are gonna be this year, um, but I couldn't pass up on them. 
Madewell denim, like when they're like with their jeans, <laughs> the weirder, the better. Um, I do really well with like their wide leg jeans, their pleated jeans, just jeans that are a bit more different. Their skinny jeans just sit for me forever and I never really get that much money for them. But with that being said, I did find a pair of Madewell new attack overalls at Plato's Closet. These were originally 20, but I had a $5 off coupon or 20% off something coupon. Um, so I got these for 15. They were originally $135. And uh, I still do pretty well with overalls. Again, more springy summery, but that is what's coming up. So hopefully someone will be into these. They have the raw hem and the comps on these looked really, really high. These are an extra small, so pretty small. Um, but I have seen a lot of these actually sell for like $135, which is what they were originally marked at, which is kind of insane. Um, right now, mine don't really have any attention. I have them listed at like 125. Um, so we'll see. I'll probably end up taking a lower offer, um, but as summer approaches, they might sell. So fingers crossed on that one. All right, and then the last thing in this haul that I'll show you guys is another brand that has been on my bolo list that I found at Plato's Closet, and they are the Redone Jeans. Um, redone Jeans can get very, very expensive. I guess they take old pairs of jeans and redo them, um, but these are like a high-rise skinny so not the trendiest but still a really good brand um they can sell even resell for quite a bit i think the redone levi's you'll probably get the most money for but i was still really excited to find these again i haven't seen them before they are a size 25 so a bit smaller but with really trendy brands um they're usually popular among like younger women um, or teenagers who are those smaller sizes so they still tend to sell for me. All right, I believe that was everything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, but yeah, that's everything I've picked up so far in 2022. I think it's January 17th today. So just in the first few weeks, I am hoping to get to the bins soon and have a haul for you. We'll see. It's kind of my new year's resolution to go to the bins more often and really utilize that as a source of inventory because I do find good stuff there, even if it is on the stressful side for me, but um, it's still really fun and I do find good stuff. So let me know what you guys thought about this haul. Are these items that you would pick up, prices that you would pay, brands that you've never found before, brands you're looking for, brands you find all the time, let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great time sourcing and selling and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.